So because we're both full-time students plus extracurriculars, and also um, just so we can like vary the content a little bit, we've decided to intersperse our normal episodes with um, these five-minute clips of us discussing a specific current event. This week's is the banana <laughs> art. As discussed by yeah. two bananas. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> on Saturday, there was a $120,000 banana at Art Basel in Miami Beach, which is this big art gallery show of contemporary art. And you can like bid on the art, but obviously it's for rich people. There was a banana, which was titled Comedian by Maurizio Catalan. And this banana was like taped up on the wall with like duct tape, like regular banana. And this performance artist from New York, David Datuna, he like took the tape off the banana and then ate it. He was escorted out of the gallery and um, no charges were pressed. So yeah. do you think the banana is art? Okay, I feel like my definition of art is like whatever you find like beauty and meaning in. So for the banana, it doesn't really bring up any emotions for me other than just like confusion. <laughs> um, going to the Kanto Arts Museum and going to the contemporary section and there'd be like painting where it's just like completely like like a red canvas or just like a red circle on a canvas. And then people would always be like, oh, like I could do that. And it's kind of like these things where it's like up to the interpretation of the viewer, I guess. Like if you find beauty and meaning in it, then it's art. Things like nature, people can consider it to be like kind of like art, even though it's like not really created by anyone. So my answer is not for me, but it could be for other people. I like begrudgingly do think it's art. I think that like this kind of goes back to like Marcel Duchamp's like fountain and also like the, the furry teacups. Previously art had to be something that like you created and it had to show like talent and like technique. And then like when Duchamp came around and he was turning over a urinal and like signing something, people were like, this isn't art because it was like mass produced. So I think we can reach another stage of like what art is. So I think that for me, I would classify art as anything that is intended to be viewed and to evoke a response. Kind of similar to what you said, but also the setting and the intention of it has to be like a part of what is like considered art. So I guess in my definition, like nature wouldn't be art because nature wasn't like created to be looked at. Like it just exists. So I think the banana is art. Also like, wait, if someone bought it, would they just like transport it to their house? He would have had like a certificate of like authenticity. So I guess like you're kind of paying for that. So like, it's kind of like college where like you have nothing tangible really <laughs> except for a piece of paper. And it costs like the <laughs> same as college. This banana costs like the same as college. <laughs> college is the duct tape banana. <laughs> Should the performance artist have eaten the other artist's banana? No, I think that's just like disrespectful. Even if it didn't take that much time and effort to duct tape the banana, it's like their brainchild. So just like consuming someone's brainchild is like, it's like one of those things, like you go into an art museum, you don't touch the art. Like no matter how you feel about it, even if you're like, I don't like this, like this is trash, just leave it be. I mean, maybe it'll speak to other people. So just like going up to it and eating it, just not respectful <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, I somewhat agree with that because during the Chanel runway, this French woman like crashed the runway and she was like, oh, fashion is too serious. I think fashion should be more fun. I'm just trying to like make fashion more fun. And I like really disagreed with that because I thought it was so rude of her to like ruin what all these people had created. But I think that some forms of art, like writing and songs and bananas, you can like take them and kind of like change them into another thing. We read novels and stuff and like, we don't know whether we're interpreting it as the author intended to or not. We're kind of like taking what they put out and just kind of like, changed it so i think in this case also you could argue that like he put out the banana and then the banana was eaten and changed i don't have like a definitive answer on either one of them the consumption of the banana added like another layer of meaning <laughs> i mean it could because like in um i think it was like 18th or 19th century dutch art vanitas were like a big thing they're like still lifes of flowers and or like fruits and they usually have like a skull or like an hourglass or something and like they serve as a reminder that like your time is limited like life is fleeting and like everything dies so you could say that the banana is a modern day vanitas and like the thing that consumes it a human is like humanity is killing humans like you could say that you know so like maybe being eaten was like a part of like the banana's like message <laughs> the life cycle of a banana <laughs> Why is he trying to bite me? Why is he trying to die me? Flubby kind of frightened me. After the banana was eaten, they took a different banana and taped it back on the wall. So does that like decrease the value of the art? Like does art have to be like the original art, I guess? Well, if you consider the original banana to be art, I don't think this is like necessarily, I don't think you can like replace it. You know how like artists make like series of stuff? This is just like banana too. <laughs> maybe with the added meaning of the man eating it, maybe this is like symbolic of like a rebirth or something, <laughs> or just like perseverance, like even just, like the face 
of hungry people, the banana survives. I commend the artists for capitalizing on the situation now that there's so many like people who know this, like sticking another banana up, like that's smart. I don't really know how much to think of that. I also don't really know because financially, like obviously like the original is always worth so much more than like like the artist's like studies or like their casts or whatever. But also I know that like in certain cultures, I think in Western culture, we place a lot of value on like this being like the original thing versus I know in like Japanese temples, if something breaks, they just replace it. They're not like, oh, this is like a sacred pole. We have to like keep it forever or whatever. They're just like, this does not spark joy anymore. Like goodbye. That's kind of like an interesting way to think about it. In this aspect, I feel like the banana was like a vessel for an idea. Now I just sound like I'm high, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't think he was like particularly like selecting up this banana for the purpose of its like banana qualities. So I think that in this case, the banana could be replaced by like another banana and like the idea of the piece as a whole still holds true. Someone spray painted, Epstein didn't kill himself across the bare wall where the banana had been. See, Mark just keeps like building and building. <laughs> Amazing. It's called Epstein wrong on the wall. <laughs> it's called art, okay. Ashley, look it up. Toothpick, money feeling exponential, got a mathematic, flip a bag of math belly. Couple foreign ass rugs in my crib, a Money keep coming in, always wind